Hi everyone, my name is Matthias. In this video I will teach you how to practice the hammer-on and the pull-up technique with the E pentatonic scale on the acoustic guitar. So the first thing what you have to learn is the E pentatonic scale. This was the first scale what I learned. This is a really basic thing. So uh, it sounds like this. So low E string, third fret on the E string, A open string, second fret on the A string, D open string, second fret on the D string, G open, second fret on the G, B open, third on the B string, and high E open string and third fret on the E string. So this could be the first exercise what you should practice. If you would like to follow this exercise with a music sheet, you can download the tab from my Patreon page for free. So just click here. The next thing what you should practice uh, is the hammer-on technique. So you have to pick a string, for example the low E string, and after hammer on the third fret on the low E string. You should find the strongest part of your finger usually is, is the middle of your finger. So if you try to do the hammer and technique like this, maybe it won't work. So let's try to hammer on the string with the middle of your finger. So let's practice only one string. So pick a string after hammer on. Let's try on the A string. A and hammer on. Let's try on the D string. Let's try the whole scale like this. Okay, uh, the next step what you can do is play on the low E, A string, D string, after start from the A string, after from the D string, after from the G string. So the whole exercise, I mean this exercise will sound like this. And uh, there is one more thing which is really important when you practice it. It should be the same volume when you pick the string after when you hammer on. It's, it should be almost the same volume. So this is how you should practice it. Okay, this was the hammer and part. Uh, let's jump into the pool of technique. It sounds like this. So what you have to do here is grab a note, the G note on the E pentatonic scale, and after pull off the string, and it's it's important that that if you try to do in this way, it won't work that much if you pull off the string that way. After on the B string, so pick the scale note after pull of the string. 
And we can tell the same thing with this exercise as well, that you have to play and grab the notes with the middle of your finger. So if you do like this, so if you just lift up your finger, it won't be enough good sound. So you have to literally pull it off. Okay. And after you can practice the the sequence, it goes like this. So so E string, B string, G string. After B, G, E, after G, D, A, after D, A, G. So once more, E string, B string, G, B string, G string, D string, G, D, A, D, A, low. String. So let's play the whole exercise. So when I go up, I will use the hammer on technique, and when I come back, I will use the pull off. Now you learned the E pentatonic scale, which is which is a really basic scale, but you can use it so many so many songs. For example, if you play a blues. You can use the pentatonic scale to improvise. Improvise a solo, so you can add any notes. In this video, I will share you another great exercise that I practiced a lot, and this exercise helps you to to master the hammer and technique with two fingers. This is how it sounds like. So generally the pinky is the weakest finger, uh, so this is why this exercise could be really hard. So step by step, low E string, after the 4th fret on the same string and 7th fret on the same string with your pinky. And the the fingering gonna be the same. A open string, fourth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the A string. D open, four seven. G four seven. B four seven. High string four seven. With this exercise, you can use the same sequence. Three strings up, one back, and from there, three strings up, one strings back, one strings back, and three strings up. And you can do the same thing, but in the opposite way. With this exercise, uh, you also have to concentrate to try the same dynamic, try to keep the volume.
So I hope you found this exercise useful. If you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment below and give it a like, share with your friends who might find it useful and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.